fellow intellectuals. We hope that you all are doing great. Welcome to another soothing Sudoku. A bit of a more difficult puzzle than the last session. This is the hard mode according to the application I got this puzzle from. So let's see how difficult it will be. Hopefully you will learn a thing or two about Sudoku you didn't know before. And if not, hopefully you will find this relaxing and soothing. Of course. <laughs> My name is Professor Dustin, and welcome. Let's begin. We're going to start with number one, as we usually do. Pull out our markers here. Little scrap pieces. <laughs> All right. Let's see if we can find anything for one and what we're probably going to exercise today is a technique known as Schneider notation and the essence of Schneider notation is that within one given block or whatever size your blocks are for whatever Sudoku size you're playing because there could be larger ones of course but for the sake of simplicity a three by three block. If you can only find two positions within it for one of the nine different possibilities, that is the only time you mark it. This ensures that you are able to see things that maybe you can't by marking all of the possible candidates at once, which is kind of a last resort, you know, if you uh, can't figure it out. So for speed solving, this is an extremely important technique. And we'll, we'll probably use that today just to show you what it looks like. So we'll pull out our candidates here as well. <laughs> Very nice. Okay. Well then, let's begin. Number one. So you have a one here, and one here, and a one there. And of all this, really, we've only got this one here. This one here. So one can be in these two positions within this block. And as per our Schneider notation, we are going to mark that. Now, if you're wondering who Schneider is, it's the last name of a very famous Sudoku solver. He's a champion, I believe, for a while. And uh, he used that technique first, or at least introduced it to the world. That's why we call it the Schneider technique. You can look up more on that online, of course. And there's a couple of videos that he does the technique and solves and explains it. So I don't want to steal that thunder, but I just figure I'll let you know what, where, why it's called that and it was something you can find out. If I have a video of that, I'll make sure to link that in the description below. So not to worry. Okay. So we know that's the one. Now, what's important about this information is that if we didn't have these ones here, for example, then we could use this idea that one has to be here to eliminate one anywhere else in this column or vice versa in the row if it was, you know, horizontal. But this is just a hard, so we probably won't be able to see that right away. Moving along then, let's go to number two, since I didn't see anything else we could solve for one at this very moment. Not enough information. Not enough information. Okay. Number two. Mm. Well, two here. And a two here. So two can only be in these two positions. So we are going to two. some twos right here. Very good. Oop. All right. Remember, 
Schneider notation, only two in the three by three block. Mm. Let's see. I think those are the only two twos that we've revealed, that have been revealed, I should say, by the puzzle. Uh, we're going to move on to number three in that case. Let's see. Number three here. here because three oh. sorry <laughs> these cotton gloves can make it a little difficult to get these little pieces but they add to the ASMR experience so we must make do uh, let's see, what else can we mark for three? So technically this has two positions for three because we know that we have three here, we have a three here, so it's just two because of that information. So we'll just mark that down here. Okay. Hmm, let's see. I think that's all the threes for now. Yeah. Moving on to number four. Okay, let's see. There's a four here and a four here. And I think that's all we're getting. But you know what we can do? Let's move on to number five. I have a feeling I see something coming and I want to show you right now. So number five, the five's here. It means five must be here. And as we have explored in previous, previous video, we have a position where only two candidates can be in two places within one block or row or column. We know that they cannot be in these three positions because three or five must be here. And that tells us a lot of things. Because if we go back to four, this four here, we know fours can't be here, we know four can't be here. So therefore, four must be in these two positions according to Schneider notation. We have two positions open, so let me just mark that here. There we go. Okay. And then, now that we know that four must be here in this column, that is helpful because now we can take this four and this four, move it along here, and again, with standard rotation, we can mark that these two must be four as well. See how that worked? Yes. Okay. And that's the thing I wanted to show you, just because it comes in handy for the more difficult puzzles. Okay, back to five. What else can we figure out from five? fives here because of these two fives so five cannot be these three positions here five across and five down which means this must be five that's why it's important and we know that with these two fives here it's the only two positions for five in that block so we're going to mark that because Schneider rotation. Okay. Very good. Now, let's see. Any other fives that we can solve for? 
we can actually solve a five. So five here, five here. This must be five. So we can work that. Now that we know that this is five, we know that this must be five. There we go. Very good. Okay. So we got a five here, we have a five there. And we know that these two positions could be five. So let's mark, let's mark that to remind us later. Okay. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, <laughs> never mind. There's been a five here this whole time. Silly me. That means that this is five. See? You can make these kinds of mistakes the human eye. <laughs> but that's okay. I'm glad I can show you that because now that we know this is five and we know that only these two positions could have been three or five, kind of, this must be three. See? Oh. Slippery little devils. Okay. So, let's see. I think we might have just about finished fives here. I'm gonna mark these two fives. So it's, you know, Schneider's notation. I'm sure you guys are getting tired of hearing that. <laughs> but now you know it. Now you know it. And that's the whole point. Okay. Moving right along. Okay, so we've got all the fives marked currently. Let's move on to number six. Okay. We have a six here and a six here. Therefore, this must be six. Let's mark that. Okay. Uh, two positions for six here, given the six here and the six here. Let's mark that. Finding the sixes can be a little tricky with these smaller numbers because they look very similar to nines. <laughs> but we manage. Okay. Um, hmm. What else? Ah, here is a very. Well, it really isn't actually, but. You see, there's a six here, and there's a six here. I'm going across in this block, there would be a six here or a six here. But in this case, we know there's a six here, so this doesn't really count. But let's say this wasn't here, and we had a six and a six, and we know there was a two and a two, then we could eliminate the three and the four from those positions um, normally if this wasn't the case. But since we have this here, we know that this is six. So that's go ahead and remove this. Now, this was a 2 and a 4 here, so we're just going to take a moment to get things going here. So we're going to mark that as 6. Okay, so let's mark this as 6 as we've discussed. Now, the brilliant thing about Schneider's notation is that once we've eliminated the 2 and 4 there, and there was only two positions, that means that this right here will be 4, because it's the remaining of the 2. And then this is going to be 2, because it's the remainder of the 2 positions for 2, meaning that this will be 3, because again, the remaining position of the 2. Let me just find a 3. Here we go. 3. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 7's here. And this is good. Find eight. There we go. It's eight. It's 
because I now know eight's here. Eight has to be here, so there's two eights here. Oh, we can go ahead and fill those in. Now, normally that's jumping ahead a little bit, but that's okay. I just wanted to show you the usefulness of Shiner Notation and how you can use that to help you solve for more difficult puzzles, such as this. Okay. All right, so this one's pretty much good for now until we can get some more information. Mm -hmm. What's close? Let's see here. This one's pretty close here, this, this column. So let's see. One, two, three. Four, uh -huh. five, six, seven. Ah, here we are. Seven's here. Fills in these two blanks. So this is the only one in this column. It could be seven. Okay. And that's helpful because this is four here. So this must be four, giving us the only two positions open in that column. And what's missing? One, two, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. There we go. That's some good stuff right there. Okay. Let's see here. We got one. It can be in any of these positions. We're going to look at this block here really quick. So one, and then two, and then three. One, two, three, in all three of those positions. So, oh, actually, this one. Yeah. So, we can mark threes here, actually. But that's, that's all we can do for the time being. So, remember, two, two positions only are going to get marked. Okay. Let's see. You know, we could probably mark this one here. We got one, two, no, one, and then two. Two could be in any of these positions. Then three, and then four, and then five, six, seven. Ah, okay, okay. Here's something useful to show you. So we mark the seven in these two positions here, as you can see. And because four and seven have to be in those two positions, this must be two. Because logically, you can't have it be any other way. So that's that's the reason. But since we know that this is seven in this column, right in these two positions, means that this cannot be a seven, meaning that this is eight. Which means that, of course, based on the process of elimination, this is 7. And then we have, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 is over here. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. No, not enough to solve it just yet. We're getting close though. We're getting really close. All right. Let's see here. Mm -hmm. Where did we leave off? I think we left off at six. Yeah, I haven't done sevens yet, so. Okay. We know six is there. Mm hmm. Okay, well, six is here, but it's three positions and not two. Uh, let's see. Ah, <laughs> okay, let's count it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is an eight. Very good. Let's check this right here real quick. One, two, three, four, uh huh, five, Six, 
six in these two positions. Let's mark that. That's not too loud. Seven, eight, and nine. Okay, we're going to mark that nine. Those two nines within this block because of this nine here. And, well, it's the only thing that would make sense, logic speaking. Logically? Logically speaking. That's what I meant to say. Oh, English. Okay. Alrighty, so we've got uh, two, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven's in these two positions. Let's mark that. Eight and nine. Okay. So not enough to mark two just yet, but enough to mark that. Okay, back to six, back to six. Mm, let's see. So sixes are all done here, sixes are all done there. Mm. And we've pretty much marked all this. Let's move on to seven then. Seven. Okay, we've got a seven here and a seven there. These can't be seven. Seven here. Really, this is the most important. Seven can be these, so this. This is seven. Very good. One. So one's in these two positions. Let's mark that. I know we're kind of hopping around a little bit, but that's usually how this goes. So I'm glad we could provide an example of that. All right. Two, three, four. So four is going to be in these two positions. So let's see, four. And four. Cool. Five, six, seven, eight, and then nine. So nine will be in those two positions there. And this one, because I have a nine right here. Very good. Very, very good. Nope, I just can't get these to cooperate. <laughs> okay. There we go. All right. So now we have got, okay, one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, okay, so this is interesting, we have an eight here, means eight can't be there, we have an eight here, means eight can't be there, means that this must be eight, excuse me, and number six here, because we only had the two positions with the Schneider notation. This is six, means this is nine, given what we know earlier. So let's make that nine. Let's get rid of that, turn that into a six. All right. And this is six, the final six of this puzzle. Right there. Okay. And we've completed six. Where's my final six? And there it is. We finished six. Very good. Alrighty. <clears throat> so, oh, that's right. We solved this earlier. We didn't mark this. So if this is four, means this is seven. 
and then this is four. Good. Right, so what are we missing here? Well, we got two fours here. We should probably mark that just to be safe. So one four there, and one four there. Okay. Oh, um, let's see. We were on uh, sevens, I believe. Oh, let's go back to that seven, 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 seven. We got the sevens here. Mm. Let's see, seven, seven, seven. This is seven. That that's what we're missing. Okay, seven, seven, seven. Because these sevens here and that seven, right? So seven. Let's see here, seven, seven, seven. Okay. So the seven's going to be in those two positions in this block. Mark that. Very good. And I think that's all the sevens in the puzzle marked. Oh, wait, never mind. Can't have a seven there because of that, silly me. Seven, seven, seven. Oh, never mind, we can solve that. My apologies. Okay. All right. Well, with seven not being here, given this notation, seven must be here, and therefore we will have completed seven. Oh, it's a little, a little clunky there. So seven, 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 seven. Okay, good. Very good. Let's put that there. Okay. Awesome. All right. Oh, what are we missing here? We're missing twos, right? So let's mark that. Couple of twos. We've solved quite a few things. We probably should move along to eight, and then we'll go to nine, and then we'll go back, fish around again, see what uh, see what we can see now. So eights. Let's see. We know two eights here, right? So we have these two eights. So let's mark those. here. Let's see. Oh. Getting caught on the cotton. <laughs> okay. Two eights here. Very good. All right. One can be in any of the positions. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, okay. Yeah, we don't we don't have enough to solve for that yet. Okay. Back to eight. Back to eight. Eight, eight, eight. Uh-huh. Eight, eight, eight. All right. Now we go to nine, 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 nine. Mm. Two nines here. Yeah, 
Yeah, two nines. So let's mark those. for the nine here, but I'll get the nine there. We got two nines there. It's a little obscure, but we have to mark it. It's two. As we have discussed in great detail throughout this video. Old Schneider notation, I tell you. Okay, so the nine mark there, nine's mark there, nine, nine's marked here, we can't do this one yet, nine, and then nine, very good, okay, we're going to loop back to one, let's loop back to one, let's see what we can find, <clears throat> okay, well, because we know one must be here, Mark these as one. Nope. <laughs> the wood getting cut on the cotton. There we go. And one. Very good. Cool. Well, since we know one and three must be here, two must be here. That's what that does. Very good. Okay. Mm. Ones. I think that's all we got for ones in the meantime. Yeah, it's just not enough information. Let's go on to two. Two, two, two. Mm. Two, two. This is two. It was the last one here, so I should have done that. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Two, two, two. Uh, let's see, we got two and two. Ah, look at this beauty right here. This is two. Now we know this is three. Because remember, when I mark the two, I eliminate one, we know the other. So because of that, we know this is one. And then this is two. Good, finished all that. We got twos across, so this is two. I think we just finished twos. Two, two, two. And two, two, two. Very good. Where's my final two? There it is. There we go. Very good. Next up, we know this is four. Because again, we only. Okay, so uh, we know that this right here is nine. And I'll just go ahead and move this over here because we got nine and nine. Let's go ahead and put it right here. And another nine to mark that. Oop. Just a little. A little caught on the cotton as always. Okay. So let's go ahead and see where we're at now. We got one, two, three. Uh, we got four. So we know these must be fours. Okay. Five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Cool. But ones. I guess ones have to be here. ones here like to be in numeric order just a preference but you, you don't have to do the same thing that's just uh, my personal preference okay and what are we missing here we got uh, one could be in any of those positions two 
three. So three is in these two positions here. Backwards, there we go. Three, uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, so we just got too many ones in this here. Um, what else are we missing here? One, two, three. Oh, maybe. Okay, what we got? We definitely have two, three positions open. So let's mark that. Now, let's see, four. Four's here, four's there, so we got a couple of fours. One is here, and another is here. So let's move that aside. Okay, well, that's a good thing to note these two fours here, because it can eliminate this four, making this a nine. And making this four. Okay. Nine. Still working. Oh, well, I'm going to need a nine here now. There we go. Which means that nine must be here. So nine. That means that this is five. Remember. Only two positions, right? This isn't nine, which means this is nine. Almost done. It means this is four, and this is one. There we go. So, with that knowledge now, we know that this is four. And this is three. And this, well, given three cannot be there or there. This is three. Yep. So that means three there. This is eight. We're just working our way along here. This is one. This is three. Oh. Hopefully those drops are oh so tingly. This actually could have never have been five. So that was my mistake. Sorry, that one. Which means this is one. Means this is eight. Means that this Yeah. Means this is one. Means this is eight. And this is one. I think we would have signed all the puzzle but we're gonna check that out really quickly so let's do that one 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 okay get this one very good okay now two's finished three 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 Four, we got 
four, 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 four. Okay. So five, 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 uh -huh. five, 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 and five, five, five. Good. We know we got six, seven. Let's move around right eight, 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 eight. Eight, 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 and eight, eight, eight. Perfect. And finally, nine, 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 and nine, nine. Perfection. Let's get those in nice and easy. And there you have it. A little Schneider notation examples. Well, a lot, I should say. And a completion of a more difficult puzzle. Hope that you have enjoyed this Sudoku. Soothing Sudoku. And, of course, make sure to subscribe for more relaxing content. And make sure you hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything. We got more relaxing content on the way every Wednesday and Sunday for the time being at least as of this moment so wishing you well Professor A.S. here relaxing, sleeping, or studying. Have a great morning, afternoon, or evening, whenever you're